and the head and neck. <clears throat> and if we just follow the action, it would be like this, sort of S-like, and this. Well, that's the hip, this is the shoulders, and this is the head. And so we'll put a little something in there. You can see what he's doing. <clears throat> In other words, here's the center on the back of the head, which he marks. And the hair becomes like a hoop, you see, helping to set the direction. And all of this then falls off to the brow suggested cheekbone there and there you have a profile or a turning away uh, profile with the French labeled the profile for do the um, shoulder now something like this and you see <clears throat> the center line is now over here it's moving closer to center but we're still getting sort of a three-quarter front or side whichever you wish and then here, this, if we were to just draw underneath all the drape, we have this and this, and we'll mark where the leg is going to be, and the foot in that direction, and you've got the spiral. Well, <clears throat> let's analyze it. This is facing this direction. Tying, or making the observer feel the relationship between, say, this figure and this figure. And the head is partially behind this figure. And the, here's the nose and the mouth and chin area. And the hand is kind of in front of that. So we have a partial form. We have no problem reading that as being back. That's a painter's world. And We're reading this this way, and we say, oh, look at this nice continuity of rhythm. This goes this way. And this goes along with this. And we see paralleling forms. <clears throat> and of course, this with this figure over here, which we don't need to put all this in, but we have a figure right in here, and <clears throat> the nose about here, and so on. We have, again, <clears throat> we're seeing across the form, the way the form turns, a continuity of rhythm, which is picked up like in here. Well, we know that S-like, then, is going to, we don't even have to, to look. We know it's going to be here. So, sure enough, here it is. You see. So we've got it this way, and now we see he has it this way. So if we go back to this figure, we're going to see this going this way. See, to fit this, to fit this. <clears throat> So she's facing this figure, 
and he encourages all of that because this figure now sort of leans back you can see the uh, classic dress they were into classicism meaning the Greek idea the high waist let's go back to this figure and we see that this movement here which is a continuity when we go to this and the flow continues right into the neck there's no break and this breaks a little soon here so the drapery keeps it going this was very handy for Michelangelo he used it he used it very well now in here he starts looking back at this this now which is taking us across the forms but now it's tied up with going down the form continuity of rhythm and it starts to go over the hip and it divides and we have some subforms but you are going to get across the form while this is taking place and this gets rather straight right in here's a dividing line and while all of this is taking place here and it returns like that here comes another one from under there and there's no way you're going to miss it because he gives it a very gothic like gather and then it opens up and continues this S like movement around the form of the hip and then goes across <clears throat> 